Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use rivets as your hot slot socket for your mechanical keyboard. This rivet looks similar to the Milmex. It's uh, very cheap for a pair of Milmex. You can get like six pairs of rivets, and it turns out that this can be a very good alternative for your hot swap socket. You're gonna need a small plier. I use the four and a half inch combination plier. Just use the small one, and then also you're going to need a tweezer, switch puller soldering tools and also the solder sucker for desoldering the rivets so here uh, I'm going to upgrade this Contra PCB to be hot swappable by using the rivets next uh, we are going to insert the rivets uh, into the switch pins just like that and then try to fit the switch to the PCB just make sure all align and you can use your tweezer actually to pull out the rivets and also make sure that the switch is aligned with the PCB. Next, you're going to clamp the rivets with your pliers. Just be careful with the direction when you clamp the rivets. The rivets need to be clamped horizontally aligned with the pin, as you see. Next, we are going to put a bit of solder to the rivets. Let's check the soldering results, if it's good enough, and then we can test the grip by simulating an earthquake to the PCB and see if the switch comes off. Well, I guess if you clamp the rivet strong enough, it could lift the entire PCB, and I think the grip is quite tight. Next, we are going to test if the rivets are working. Just randomly plug a couple of switches into the PCB. And as you see, all the switches are responding to the keystroke, so I suppose the rivet is working very well. And now, we are going to desolder one of the rivets using the solder sucker. Uh, try to remove a small amount of solder around the rivets just enough until the rivets is not covered uh, with solder So here comes the tricky part uh, you need to slowly clamp the rivet from the other side So it's going to make the rivet a bit wrong Use your soldering iron to heat up the rivet and push it gently with a tweezer until it falls. So I guess it's pretty much easy, so thank you for watching, hopefully this can be an alternative for your next project.